Well, good Thursday morning, everybody. I am at the lake. I've got sunglasses on because I'm optimistic that we'll see some sun today. Where is it? Hiding behind the trees there. Got my nerd shirt on today, ready to uh, give you some weather information. Today should be mostly dry. That's the good news for us. Uh, we've got uh, some of these clouds that hopefully will break up. We'll take a look at uh, what goes on with those clouds. This is one of our shorter term computer models shows intermittent clouds for the day, but does break up largely across the southern part of the state. So some sunshine should really help to give us uh, some warmer temperatures too. So we're talking mid, maybe upper 80s today. Uh, a bunch of the models push us into the upper 80s. If we get enough sun, it's possible. But of course, we do have some clouds out there that should shrink, shrink here though through the morning hours. So that's some good news for us. Uh, as far as uh, what we have activity wise, some thunderstorms will be popping up here across northern Minnesota here late today into tonight. That's mostly where that chance will be tonight uh, is across northern parts of the state. So if you're headed up to cabin country, you'll have some storms up there further south. We should remain mostly dry. And then heading into tomorrow, that's when things get a little bit more interesting for us. We're talking about some thunderstorms popping up later in the day in the western part of the state and they will track east and southeast, potentially producing some wind so uh, this line of storms initially you see early in the day some strong storms in northern Minnesota and then later in the day storms pop up across central and western Minnesota tracking towards the Twin Cities by evening so that's when we could have some strong storms around here and the biggest potential is going to be large hail wind gusts I know it sounds familiar uh, and of course any severe storm could produce tornado but you're looking at uh, severe wind gusts here specifically uh, those potential of 50 60 70 mile per hour wind gusts we do have an enhanced risk of some severe storms in northern Minnesota for late today. So again, northern Minnesota, the chance of severe weather today. And then tomorrow, that area shifts southeast. Just a slight risk right now. That might change. A lot of energy. You're looking at CAPE, convective available potential energy. A lot of energy here across southern Minnesota for those storms later in the day tomorrow. And it is going to be muggy today and tomorrow. Dew points in the 60s, approaching 70 for some dew points as we head into tomorrow. Uh, and then behind that, much cooler, more comfortable air headed our way. We've got uh, temperatures that will be dropping. Dew points will be dropping too. Saturday looks beautiful. Sunday. <clears throat> so if you if you made the bad call and went to the lake early like I did for today and tomorrow, not so nice. We'll have some sunshine, some strong storms later tomorrow. But Saturday, Sunday looks stellar. Near 80, lower humidity. Monday, Tuesday, a back into a taste of some of that September-like air. Just mid, upper 70s. Overnight lows in the 50s, great sleeping weather, very comfortable dew points. Signs though in the models that we could be talking about some heat again by next weekend. So we may not be done with 90 degree temperatures just yet.